hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will just show you a tip so that you can basically maintain your color coding easily so for example if you see we are specifying these colors like one two three four five times and suppose you have to specify this uh, maybe 15 times or 25 times and if changes is come changes are coming then you may have to do it quickly right so that the you are not facing problem over there so the best way i think to do it is uh, maintaining this information uh, somewhere in a code like in a variable uh, if i talk uh, uh, from the perspective of other programming languages so that uh, whenever anything is changing you are just changing the variable and this app this change is then apparent in rest of the program so let's do that over here so what we are doing is we are creating let's say um, colors maybe um, or maybe layout colors whatever name which is suitable for you a uh, dictionary for that and uh, let's say we create one color for uh, for text so we can specify what is our text color and let's say our text color is this so i'll just copy and paste right put a comma and we will say our plot underscore color is basically this yep so i will just go ahead and put it this put a comma and say paper underscore color is this i'm just giving you example but you can keep it generic if if that is what your need is so let me just go ahead and copy this and paste it over here all right so my color dictionary is now ready which i can use and if anything is changes i will just have to change it over here and it will reflect here so let's go ahead and execute that all right colors and I will now access my dictionary which is colors and I will just simply specify what I need I need text that's it right and I will put the same thing over here I will put the same thing over here because this is what I need in font and I will say here um, instead of text i will say plot color and here i will say paper school color so this is nothing but one is efficient way of uh, how you can really manage your application in a better way in such cases like formatting which unnecessarily takes a lot of time so let me first of all interrupt the kernel yes it's done and uh, execute this execute this execute this and i have the same application it's just that whenever i need to make a need to make a change i will just change it over here that's it that's what i need to do all right so that's pretty much it i have for you in this video um if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and uh, to get these videos directly in your inbox hit the subscribe button